How do we carry out basic maintenance of the Personal Surveyor 200 or PS200 gas monitor? Hi, my name's Alex Littlewood and I'm the UK and Ireland Industrial Portable Sales Manager for Teledyne Gas Measurement Instruments, part of Teledyne Gas and Flame Detection. I've been selling our gas detection now for over seven years and I've been in the safety supply and gas detection industry for over 30 years. Today we're going to talk about the basic cleaning and maintenance of the PS200 personal gas monitor. Basic cleaning and maintenance that can be carried out by the user in the field. But before we start, always read the instruction manual before using, cleaning and maintaining the PS200 gas monitor. The instruction manual can be found on our website, teledynegasandflamedetection.com. In the Personal Safety Gas Monitor section, under PS200. So today, we're going to talk about cleaning the PS200 and how we clean it properly and without damaging it or its sensors. We're going to look at how to remove the front grille, inspect and replace the front hydrophobic filter, and then replace that front cover. We are then going to look at inspecting and replacing the inlet nozzle dust filter. And finally, we're going to finish by looking at replacing the belt or jumbo clip on the back of the instrument. To carry out this work, all we need is a standard fluted Phillips number one screwdriver. So let's start off by talking about cleaning the PS200. When we are cleaning the PS200, we need to use a non-abrasive moist cloth. In extreme cases, a mild soap solution may be used, such as a light dishwasher liquid with a non-abrasive cloth to remove any stubborn marks. Do not use polishes that contain silicon or solvents to clean the instrument, as these may damage the flammable gas sensor if it is fitted. Also, do not use abrasive materials or strong volatile chemical solutions, as these could damage the impact resistant casing of the PS200. So now let's talk about replacing the filters on the PS200. The PS200 has two filters protecting it from contamination, a hydrophobic filter and an inlet dust filter. The hydrophobic filter is located behind the top filter cover on the front face of the instrument and is designed to protect the instrument from the ingress of dust and liquids. The sample inlet dust filter is located in the sample inlet connector at the bottom of the instrument and is designed to protect it from particles being drawn up the sample line and into the inlet tracts. The inlet dust filter is to protect dust particles entering the inlet airways within the PS200. The air entering the instrument is drawn in and over the hydrophobic filter, therefore protecting the sensors and internals of the monitor if water is accidentally drawn up and gets past the inlet dust filter. For extra protection, the pumped version of the PS200 can be fitted with an inline hydrophobic filter that can be placed in the inlet sample line before the inlet dust filter. The hydrophobic and inlet filters should be inspected periodically for contamination or damage. So let's look at inspecting and replacing these filters. Let's start with the hydrophobic filter. Using the number one posi driver screwdriver, unscrew the captive screw and remove the filter cover by sliding it away from the display screen to disengage the locating lugs from the corresponding slots in the filter access. Carefully lift then remove the hydrophobic filter from the instrument filter recess. The filter can be examined and replaced if required. Note that there are locating pegs in the instrument filter recess and mating pin holes in the hydrophobic filter. We must ensure the correct orientation of the filter during the reassembly and these locating pegs allow us to do this. 
Now replace the filter cover over the filter recess by carefully sliding it towards the display screen until the lugs are located in the mating slots in the instrument filter recess. Be careful not to over tighten the screw. This could result in unrepairable damage to the casing. Now let's remove, inspect and replace the inlet filter. To replace the inlet filter, unscrew then remove the two posi pan screws. Then remove the inlet nozzle complete with the inlet filter located in the inner recess of the nozzle. The filter can now be inspected or replaced. Push the sample inlet filter disc out of the inner recess by inserting a matchstick or similar into the inlet nozzle outer recess. Fit the sample inlet filter, ensuring that the rough side of the filter is placed to the inside of the filter inlet or sample side of the inlet. The rough surface of the inlet filter gives greater surface area and better filtration. Ensure that the O-ring seal is still located and looks in good condition in the casing of the PS200. Now we can refit the inlet nozzle. The inlet nozzle is moulded to fit in one direction only. Make sure that the orientation is correct and the nozzle locates easily into the instrument front cover inlet. It is easier to place the screws into the inlet housing before fitting it into the casing. Fit, then tighten the two posi pan screws using the number one posi drive screwdriver. Ensure you do not over tighten the screws as this could cause damage to the casing. Finally, let's look at replacing the belt or jumbo clip on the back of the PS200. Open the belt clip on the back of the instrument. With the posi drive screwdriver, unscrew the posi pan screw from the back of the PS200 holding clip. Remove the belt clip and attach the new one ensuring it sits correctly between the recesses on the back of the cover. Tighten the posi pan screw, ensuring that the screw is not over tightened. The replacement clip comes with a screw that is pre-treated with a thread locking solution to reduce the likeliness of the screw coming loose. So that's how we carry out basic cleaning and maintenance of the PS200 personal gas monitor. I hope you found it useful and don't forget to look out for our further webinars from Teledyne Gas and Flame Detection.